It is also getting feisty on the Democratic side. Here are some highlights from the forum that was held on CNN last night. We are all um, on the Democratic side having a spirited debate about the issues we care about. The most significant vote and issue regarding foreign policy that we have seen in this country in modern history was the vote on the war in Iraq. Hillary Clinton voted for the war in Iraq. First of all, I have a much longer history than one vote, which I've said was a mistake. Experience is important, but judgment is also important. But I think the American public has seen me uh, exercising judgment in a lot of other ways. Okay, uh, you know the polls by now. Bernie gaining a lot of traction, a lot of attention. Do you think Hillary's camp be seeing flashbacks of 08? And you were talking, uh, Andrew, thought it was a pretty good forum in yep. terms of you learned about the candidates last night. At what point do you think Sanders goes from a curiosity that kind of feeds some of the discontent on the far left to being... This guy's going to be around for a while. If he if he wins Iowa and New Hampshire and the numbers start to change in South Carolina, Nevada, and Super Tuesday states, that's a lot of if. Uh, a lot of if right now. Uh, but he has to sweep both of the two initial contests so that he can be the flavor of the week as it will well, in the media. Well, he's going to win New Hampshire. We, we all believe yeah. that. The betting money is... Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Okay, I'll bet money. 65% <laughs> yeah. odds on. or so on. <laughs> Iowa, though, win New could be 50-50. Yeah, he's Iowa, closing right, the gap. And you never... When your numbers are dropping right before an election like that, it's you end up seeing much bigger, mm. you know, whoever's coming in behind you, that, that momentum will take you through election day. We so see the numbers, and it's still early him. in some of the states that follow, the South Carolinas and the Nevadas, but the polling shows that she's ahead, way ahead. Look at South Carolina that we just brought up there, 2-1. Obviously, now you're going to have different demographics. Uh, you're going to have more uh, you know, minorities that are going to be voting there, etc. Is there a firewall, Dom? It doesn't matter what happens in Iowa, New Hampshire. Her husband had that, you know, but he was the only guy who's ever lost the first two, then won. How solid do you think that is down there? Or do you think they, like so many other Democrats, said, tell me exactly why I should be enthused about this candidacy? The only reason why Iowa and New Hampshire matters is it makes for a good narrative to slam Hillary Clinton from the media. Once you get to South Carolina, it's over. Her momentum will pick up. Then you go into what Super Tuesday, Nevada, then Super and Tuesday. then Super yeah, Tuesday. She, in, she, yeah, she's hobbling in. There's no doubt about it. She's hobbling in. But but Bernie Sanders is not going to be the nominee. It's just a great story to say to Hillary Clinton, Ah, stop your coronation. Well, it's gonna not going to happen. I'm going to make Jessica very happy with this one. Okay. If the email thing becomes bigger. Oh, to, 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 my God. You're ready to do cartwheels, it's right? It's drip, drip, <laughs> dripping out. I mean, yeah, if, I'm just, just if a fact. for some reason, and people that I don't think are unserious, I mean, forget about the, the far right is dying for forever. They want to indict her on Vince Foster or whatever, right? But if there is an indictable issue for this, is that game, set, match? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no way that Obama and the Democrats are going to allow her to be the nominee. I mean, I think it's very telling how this stuff is kind of dripping out there. Okay, you know, if it does, why did he give her so much love yesterday with political and and throw shade at Bernie Sanders because that she was he has so far the best? Well, has. you wouldn't do that if you thought your own Justice Department was going to indict her, right? Well, he's going to do that until he can't, because anything other than that is going to be perceived exactly what you said. I guarantee you, Biden will step in if that's the case. Done. Uh, you know, we, we talked about this with Obama. The, the key for Bernie Sanders is electability. Right now, electability works against Bernie Sanders because he's a socialist, because he's older, because he's Bernie Sanders. People think he's not going to win or he has a worse chance of winning in November against a Republican. If you erode that perception of electability, that if he's as electable or more electable than Hillary, he fares much better and I think he could theoretically win the nomination. If, that, if something happens with the emails, Hillary becomes less electable. I also think that as the Republicans go crazier to the right... And by the way, if you want to see that picture, um, we can show it to you. Joe Arpaio, yeah. the crazy sheriff from Arizona, and Donald Trump hand-in-hand, hand, uh, this, the scene, live right now in Iowa. Again, I think we've veered off into some parallel universe, but yes. Anyway, but, I'm sorry. But I, I was just going to say, as the Republicans move further to the right and Cruz and Trump become more plausible, 
I think that also makes Sanders more electable because the wackier yeah. their candidates are, the wackier the Democratic candidate. Be. And I'm not calling anybody wacky in all this. I'm just, I'm just saying <laughs> that, yeah, that no, the, the extremes play. The electability question is not at the top of voters' minds right now, and you're seeing it in both parties. They're not thinking that way. They're angry. They're frustrated. You're seeing it with Bernie Sanders, and you're seeing it with Trump and Cruz. So wh what you would normally go in thinking would be what voters care about is not the same this year. And I think you have to really— And you think it holds till November? Dismiss. Yeah, people are mad. I, I think that we've— I don't think there's any reason to doubt that they're going to change their feelings all of a sudden. Although I would, I would only argue that electability, if electability wasn't an issue right now, I think Bernie might actually be winning because of because the angry Democratic voters and because I think the party has moved to the left to a certain degree. I think a lot of Democrats yeah, who sure. might like Bernie Sanders say, he can't win, so I'm going to stay with Hillary until the bitter end. See, I just get this sense. It's like when we were younger, you had a crazy party at the House. And in the morning, there were some people decided they were going to hang out. You're like, Enough. Get out. All right. I get the vibe that there's going to be a certain point where America cuts loose. But then you look around and say, wait a minute. Do I want Bernie Sanders, you know, making foreign policy? Do I want Donald Trump with his, within an area code of the red button for the nukes? Like, this is nuts. You know, I don't want this. You would you know? think. <laughs> you would think. When, when Jesse Jackson ran, didn't he pull large rallies, the equivalent of, yes. of what Bernie's? That's exactly what this is. For a certain little name for New York, that didn't help yeah, him. Yeah, it yes. didn't help no. him at all. People are fascinated with Bernie Sanders. He has absolutely zero, zero shot of being the Democratic nominee. It's not going to happen. They'll pull Joe Biden in before he gets close to that. He has more than a zero percent shot. Zero. By the way, more than we got to wrap. Uh, I asked these guys yesterday, you think Bloomberg does get in? I think he's... Because he can't really wait until the end of Super Tuesday, right? He's got to kind of get the ball in motion before yeah, that. Yeah, when you have that much money, you can do pretty much anything <laughs> you want. So I would say I think he's probably seriously looking at it. I think he has, you know, concerned about, about both Bernie and on the right. And I think he's... If there were ever a time and a path for an independent candidate, you would think that this would be yeah. it. So. And just think, guys, all of a sudden, our states, which have become non-issues during these campaigns, all of a sudden... New York becomes interesting. Jersey becomes interesting. You know, all, all of a sudden, everything gets back in play. If you got somebody that could split the Democratic vote, even take some Republican votes, it would make it interesting. All right, coming up next, um, we leave politics and talk about a city in many ways under siege, the saga of Atlantic City. At one time, the jewel of the East, now about to go bust. The state wants to take it over. The question is, should they and will it help?